Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the positive infinite variable transmission. So this positive infinite variable transmission is nothing but the next version for the CVT. That is the continuous variable transmission system. So what is this positive infinite variable transmission system? So it is the English name from the scientist Englishman who have introduced this mechanically adjustable continuous variable transmission system. And this system was developed in 1924. As uh, the prototype was made in 1924 and finally it was completed in 1931. And then afterwards this PIV gearbox, it consists of two tooth gears of cone pulleys, which are located on the shafts, which are arranged parallel to input and output shaft. And they are connected by a chain of packages with steel lamellas that can be moved within the individual packages. The end faces of the lamella grip readily machine flat resist in the conical disc and they are basically used to transmit the torque. One of the discs is arranged to be displaceable on the respective shaft and a mechanically or hydraulically adjustable rocker can be used to continuously vary the spacing between the pair of pulleys causing the slack chain to shift and this changes the effective transmission diameter of the chain and its transmission ratio. So if you see here, so these are the two pulleys and these two pulleys, they are now just used or they are being connected by this lamellas of steel plates. So this is a lamella of steel plates and these are the cone pulleys. And with the help of this lamella of steel plates, the power is transmitted from input to the output shaft. So that I have told you that it is the next version of CVT, that is continuous variable transmission system. So the PIV as a manufacturer name has been a prototype for CVT transmission. The lamellar chain drives are characterized by the simple and robust construction, high reliability, low maintenance, with simple control and high precision. They can be operated during operation at full load and there is no any sleep and therefore they are suitable for stepless torque and speed conversion with appropriate control for automatic compensation of speed fluctuation. The slats jump over when overheated or blocked so that the transmission takes on the function of safety device with increased wear slip clutch. But the disadvantage of this PIV drive is that they are having greater weight, high space is required and there is mechanical wear on the chain and disc. So further development of this lamella chain drives are also called as roller chain drives, whereby the conical pulleys are no longer toothed and the power is transmitted through the chains with rattler rollers. The advantage is further development of the chain is to be overloaded so that there will be no any slip. And there are also types of gears with smooth disc and chain in which the frictional convention is achieved using rocker pressure pieces instead of lamellas or rollers chains. And these chains they are used in CVT that have already we have seen. PIV gearboxes they are being used as a standard solution in special machines and in construction machinery, for example, elevator systems they are using. And nowadays, modern electronic control transmission that are used in automobiles. Nowadays, so nowadays they are been using this PIV drives in the automobile. Now we will see how this PIV is being made or manufactured.
थैंक यू